Hi, Sarah. Good evening. Another long day at tutoring, huh? Yeah, just one more day until the big test at Oakwood. That's right. Well, we're all set. My daughter Lily already got into Green Hill, Westwood Academy, and Riverview Prep. So we're not worried at all. Wow, that's impressive. Well, we invest in elite education from birth. It pays off. We've spent on art classes, gymnastics, trips abroad, and anything else Lily needed for her future. That's a lot of effort. Well, it helps when your husband is the CEO. Oh, your husband runs his own company? Yeah, just a small one. Impressive. Yeah, about $200 million in revenue. That's amazing. But I guess you wouldn't know much about those numbers, right? After all, you're just from a middle class household. It must be tough for your son competing with Lily when you can barely afford the basics. Well, we make do. It's okay, I understand. But remember, admissions are all about merit. Exactly. Are you sure you're ready for Oakwood? You've never been around so much wealth. You might be a little overwhelmed. Hmm, we'll manage. Maybe you'll realize you're out of your death and give up. It might save everyone's time. That's harsh. I'm just being honest. Meanwhile, Lily is so relaxed she's watching music videos of her favorite boy band. That's nice. What's your son doing? He's already in bed. What? It's only 8 p.m. That's way too early. The tutor told us to get a good night's rest for tomorrow. Oh, I forgot about that. But we're not worried. There's no way Lily will fail. That's great for her. Well, we've done everything right. I know it's tough for you. We're doing fine, thanks. No need to pretend. It's not like you can compete with us. Tomorrow, make sure you dress your son properly for the test. Don't embarrass Oakwood with a cheap suit. He'll be dressed appropriately. Sure, if that's what you call it. It's not like you're aiming for anything other than a backup school, right? Please, stop talking about my son like that. Why should I? He's clearly not on the same level as Lily. I'd appreciate it if you didn't insult him. Who do you think you are to talk to me like that? You'll regret this. Good night, Laura. The next day. Good evening, Sarah. You look down. Did something happen? You mean after you pushed my son into a puddle and ruined his test clothes? Oh, that. I barely touched him. If he fell, it's his fault for being clumsy. You're being unfair. Whatever. Did he really take the test in those dirty clothes? That's so disrespectful to the school and the other kids. We explained the situation to the school and they said it was fine. What? You told them? Yes, we told them a large dog scared him and caused him to fall. We didn't mention that you pushed him. Well, at least he's good at making up stories. So how did your son do? I bet he failed. Meanwhile, my Lily passed with flying colors. Actually, he passed and was top of the class. What? That's impossible. No way your son outsourced Lily. It's true. Show me the proof. That's all in the results we received today. I'll call the school. Feel free. Five minutes later. I can't believe it! Your son really scored the highest? How could he do that with so little tutoring? We didn't need more tutoring. But everyone else took extra classes. We didn't need them. He's already in sports and my aunt helps him with art. That's not fair. My daughter had to take all those extra classes. Maybe she needed them. Uh, how dare you! And why didn't the school say anything about his dirty clothes? I'm going to complain. Ten minutes later. Can you believe this? I got scolded for asking why they allowed your son to test in dirty clothes. They said it wasn't a problem at all. How is this fair? Maybe you shouldn't upset the school. I don't care. Lily's acceptance isn't at risk. How can you be so sure? Let's just say we know people. You mean you've got connections at the school? That's none of your business. Seems like you've been making deals behind the scenes. What exactly were you doing with those officials at the fancy hotel? And that's where my husband's business meetings are. Don't start with your conspiracy theories. Oh, I'm not starting anything. But I did overhear some interesting conversations at that hotel. What are you talking about? Things like, please make sure my daughter gets in and keep this between us. You weren't exactly quiet. Ah, that's ridiculous. You're making things up. I'm not the only one who heard you. You've got nothing on me. Actually, I do. And I've already reported everything. What? You reported me? Yes, right before the results were announced. I couldn't just let this go. Ugh, you're going to ruin everything. You did that yourself. What about Lily? She'll be devastated. That's on you. You didn't trust her enough to let her succeed on her own. The Oakwood was my dream for her. She wanted to go to a different school though. She told my son she liked Flower Hill better. I had no idea. Maybe you should have listened to her instead of pushing your own agenda. What am I supposed to do now? That's for you to figure out. My husband is calling. You'd better answer. We're done here. Laura ignored her husband's calls, but soon enough he came home, furious. 
he yelled, You've ruined everything, our company, Lily's future. And without Laura knew, her life had fallen apart. Lily's acceptances were revoked, and her husband's company lost all its contracts. They had to sell their mansion and move abroad, but Laura was left behind divorced and disgraced. In the end, her pride and wealth led to her downfall. Maybe life would have been simpler if she hadn't chased status so desperately. Hey, I heard you bought a new house. Is that true? Yeah, buying a home has always been our dream, so my husband and I saved up for it for a long time. Wow, I always thought you'd be like me, renting forever. I thought I mentioned we were looking into buying. Maybe you did, but I didn't think someone like you, just an average housewife, could actually buy a home. Your husband works for a small company, right? It's not like he has a huge income. That's why we saved for so long. But you've only been married for a few years. Can you really save that much money in such a short time? You must have had help from your parents, right? No, we didn't take any money from our parents. They offered, but we wanted to do it ourselves since it's our house. But you're a stay-at-home mom. Are you sure you weren't doing some shady side jobs behind your husband's back? Of course not. I've been working from home as a freelance web designer. I worked as a web designer before I got married, so once the kids were a bit older, I started freelancing again. Oh, so you're doing the whole work from home thing? Yeah, it's been great. I've been wanting a house too, but my husband won't agree. He hates the idea of a mortgage. Maybe he's thinking about the long term. You have a lot of kids, so I'm sure it's tough financially. That's exactly why I want a bigger house. It's so unfair that you guys got one first. If you want a house, maybe you should try saving or working part-time. Wow, you're really rubbing it in now that you bought a house. That's not what I meant. Yes, it is. You knew I wanted a house and now you're flaunting it. That's not what I'm doing. I just shared the news. Well, it feels like you're taking a dig at me. Maybe we should take a break from each other for a while. I was hoping you could come to the housewarming party, though. Why would I celebrate someone rubbing their new house in my face? If talking to me makes you feel this way, maybe it's better to keep our distance. Fine, I'm already in a bad mood talking to you. I'll have to do something to get back at you. Revenge? It's not going to help anyone. You'll see. A few months later. Hey, guess where I am? What? Where? I'm at your new house throwing a barbecue. What? We didn't invite anyone over. I know, it's a surprise. <laughs> this isn't funny. You need to leave now. Why? It's not like I live here. I'm just celebrating for you. You're making noise and disturbing the neighbors. Please stop and leave. Nah, I'm going to stay even longer now. What's wrong with you? Why are you doing this? This is payback. Oh, by the way, I have something to confess. What? So, uh, while we were barbecuing, your house kind of caught on fire. Whoops. <laughs> what? My house isn't even finished yet. Wait, really? It's still under construction. We're not moving in for a while. Then whose house is this? It's probably someone else's. Oh no, the walls got a little blackened. Do you think I could just paint over it and no one will notice? What are you saying? You need to apologize and pay for the damages. No way, besides if I leave now, no one will know it was me. Are you serious? Yeah, if they can't find out who did it, I'm in the clear. You can't just run away, that's not how it works. I'm out of here, and don't you dare tell anyone. I can't believe this. Did you seriously leave your husband and everyone else behind? So what if I did? It's not fair to your husband. He's going to be blamed for everything. Whatever, he'll figure it out. You know, your husband just called mine, right? What? No way. Yeah, they're good friends. And he already told my husband what happened. You're in big trouble. You've got to be kidding me. So are you going to come back and face the consequences? No way. I'm not getting caught. You can't run forever, Emily. The police are already involved. No, I'm not paying for any damages. I can't afford that. It doesn't matter, you're responsible. But I don't have the money. You'll have to figure it out. This isn't fair. You're the one who caused all of this. You should have thought about that before starting a fire. Emily, this is on you. You need to apologize and pay for the damages. I can't. I don't have that kind of money. That's your problem. You'll have to deal with the consequences. Fine, but you're still the one who started all of this. If you hadn't shown off your new house, none of this would have happened. I didn't show off. You're just jealous. That doesn't excuse what you did. Ugh, whatever. I'll just keep running. They'll never catch me. A few days later, Emily was forced to face reality. Her husband filed for divorce. His parents refused to help her. 
and her own family cut ties. Emily was also sued for the damages. With nowhere to turn, she had to borrow money and is now struggling to pay it all back. She's working multiple part-time jobs, but it's going to take years to recover. As for me, I'm happily settled into my new home with my family. Life has never been better. So, I hear you're going on a family vacation over the long weekend. Wow, must be nice. Going on a trip without inviting me? What are you talking about, Maddie? It's a family vacation. Why would we invite you? Oh, really? You think you can just talk to me like that? You know what happens if you go against me, right? Uh, what do you mean by that? My husband is your husband's boss. If you don't treat me right, I can have him transferred far away. Please, don't do that. My husband hasn't done anything wrong. Don't drag him into this. Then you better stop resisting me. I want to come on this family vacation too. And you're staying at a luxury hotel, aren't you? I never get to stay in places like that. If you want to stay there so badly, why don't you book it yourself? You can pay for it too. Oh, you really don't get it, do you? The more you talk back, the worse it gets for your husband. What if he gets transferred because of you? You can't just blackmail people like this. I have the right to stand up for myself. I'm not going to keep doing everything you say. Do you even realize what you're saying? Ugh, fine. If you want to keep talking back, I'll have your husband transferred far away. Oh, and I'll find out where your fancy hotel is and crash your vacation. You can't do that. Whether I can or can't is not up to you. I'm angry, so I'll do whatever I want. You're being unreasonable. This is just a family trip. Oh, I don't care. You should have invited me. Family trips are supposed to be just for family. Shut up. I'm coming on your trip and you'll pay for everything. You're going to regret this the day of the trip. Hi, guess where I am? I made it to the luxury hotel. My whole family is here so you can cover all our expenses. Wait, are you serious? Oh, and I put all your luggage out in the hallway. Ordered room service too. We're in our room having dinner right now. What? What do you mean? I took all the stuff out of room 606, right? No, we're in 706. You got the wrong room. What? I swear I checked with Mrs. Johnson. She probably just made a mistake. Ah, that idiot. Can't believe she tricked me like this. I don't think she meant to trick you. She just made a simple mistake. I can't believe this. I kicked someone else's stuff out. You messed up big time. But I didn't mean to. It's not my fault. You still need to take responsibility. Why should I? You should be the one apologizing. What? Why should I apologize for something you did? Because I was trying to take your room. So it's your fault I made the mistake. That's not how responsibility works. You don't understand your position, do you? My husband is your husband's boss. I can still have him transferred far away if you don't do what I say. Are you seriously still going on about that? Go ahead, tell your husband. You'll regret this. I'll make sure your husband gets transferred first thing tomorrow. Oh, you might want to check with your husband first. Why? My husband just told me that your husband has been demoted. My husband is now his boss. What? That can't be true. You knew this and didn't tell me? I thought you already knew. I didn't think it was my place to say anything. Ah, this is ridiculous. Now I can't order you around anymore? No, you can't. In fact, it's always been equal between us. Equal? I'm supposed to be above you. This is so unfair. Trying to boss me around doesn't change anything. Your husband is now working under mine. If anything, I could start telling you what to do. You wouldn't dare. Why not? You've been threatening me for years. It's only fair that I do the same to you now. This is treason. You can't do this to me. Why not? You've been doing it to me this whole time. This isn't over. My husband will get promoted again and then you'll regret this. I don't think so. He's being transferred far away for good. What? Why is he being transferred? Apparently, he's been too harsh on his employees, so they're sending him to a place where he can reflect on his actions. This can't be happening. It is. You could go with him, you know. I'm not going anywhere. This is all your fault. My husband doesn't deserve this. Didn't you threaten to have my husband transferred for no reason? That was just to scare you. I didn't mean anything by it. You used your husband's position to bully people, and now you're upset that it backfired? Wait, you have to help me. Why would I have to do that? I'm going to be in so much trouble. That's not my problem. Wait, you don't understand. I messed up so bad. The people whose room I kicked out are going to find out and I'm going to get in big trouble. Why is that my problem? Because I was trying to take your room. If you hadn't pushed me to this, none of this would have happened. 
Oh no, Maddie. You're not going to pin this on me. I'm serious. I'll tell them it was all your fault. I'm coming up to 706 right now. I'm not opening the door. We're busy enjoying some family time and playing games. How could you be so heartless? You need to take responsibility. I haven't done anything wrong, Maddie. You're the one who caused all the trouble. You're unbelievable. How can you just sit there while I'm suffering? I'll make you regret this. Oh, really? What are you going to do? Another one of your petty schemes? I'm going to do something worse. Much worse. What now, Maddie? You've already done enough damage. I'm going to get the other moms to kick you out of the mom group. You'll be all alone. No one will invite you to anything ever again. Oh, Maddie. You really think that's going to work? Of course it will. You'll be a social outcast. I don't think so. You know why? Why? Because the other moms don't like you. They've been complaining about you for ages. Why? That's not true. Oh, it is. They've all told me how you act high and mighty and always threaten people. That's why no one wants to be around you. No way. I haven't done anything wrong to them. Maybe not directly, but your attitude says it all. Everyone's sick of it. I didn't realize. I didn't know people hated me. Well, now you do. Maybe it's time to reflect on how you've treated others. Wait, I'll apologize. I'll tell everyone I'm sorry. Please just don't cut me off. Apologizing now won't fix everything. The moms have already decided they don't want to deal with you anymore. No, please. I swear I'll change. I won't act like that again. It's too late, Maddie. They've made up their minds. But I don't have any way to get you to listen now. I can't threaten you anymore. That's the problem, Maddie. All you ever did was threaten people. Now that you can't, you don't know what to do. I said I'm sorry. Isn't that enough? Sorry doesn't fix ears of treating people like they're beneath you. People are done with your behavior. I don't want to be left alone. Please, Grace, help me. I can't help you, Maddie. You brought this on yourself. I'll make things right. I swear. That's not for me to decide. The other moms have already made their decision. But I have nothing left. I can't threaten. I can't apologize. What can I do? Maybe try being a decent person from now on. You don't understand. I'm losing everything. My husband's career, my friends, my life as I knew it. Maybe it's time to rethink how you've been living, Maddie. This can't be happening. Please, Grace, help me fix this. I'm sorry, Maddie. I really am. But you need to figure this out on your own. Please, Grace, I'm begging you. There's nothing more I can do for you, Maddie. You need to learn from this and move forward. But I don't know how. I've messed everything up. That's something you'll have to figure out. Maybe start by apologizing sincerely to everyone you've hurt. I already said I was sorry. Words aren't enough, Maddie. People need to see that you've changed. How can I show them if no one will give me a chance? It won't be easy, but you've got to start somewhere. I don't know if I can. You have no other choice. If you want to rebuild your life, you need to take responsibility. Responsibility for what? For everything. For how you treated people. For how you acted. It's time to own up to it, Maddie. I didn't mean to be this way. I just wanted to be in control. And look where that got you. Control doesn't mean hurting others. I see that now. But what I do if no one wants to listen anymore? You start small. Take one step at a time to make things right. Will people ever forgive me? That's up to them, but you can't expect forgiveness right away. I feel so lost, Grace. I don't know if I can do this alone. You're going to have to, Maddie. This is your journey now. I wish I had realized all of this sooner. It's never too late to change, but it's up to you. I just hope I haven't lost everything forever. That's something you'll have to see for yourself. I'll try, Grace. I really will. I hope you do, Maddie. I really do.